Welcome to the American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. This week, we're at the famed Four Sixes Ranch in Guthrie, Texas. For three generations, the Four Sixes has been producing superior Black Angus cattle and legendary quarter horses. Red Stegall joins us today. He's a longtime friend of owner Ann Marion and of the cowboys who make things happen here. Red, this ranch has such a great history, yet they're always looking to the future. You're right on both counts, Pam. We'll explore the horse and cattle operations and preview the upcoming sales. For the first time, the Four Sixes Ranch is offering their superb Angus genetics. In a moment, we'll visit with the general manager of the Burnett Ranches, Mr. Joe Leathers, and we'll talk about the Four Sixes Angus cattle. Stay with us. Our visit to the Sixes begins in just a moment. It's a historic Four Sixes Legacy female sale, offering 1,800 coming three-year-old bred commercial females. These northern origin females sell bred to Express, Riverbend, Krebs, STS Ranch, and Bradley Three Ranch growth bulls. And here's your chance to restock with superior genetics on Thursday, November the 12th. This is a video-only sale broadcast live on SuperiorClickToBid.com and Rural TV. Rethink, restock, rebuild with the Four Sixes Legacy female sale. Welcome back to the American Rancher and our special look at the Four Sixes Ranch, a true working cattle ranch that dates back to 1868. Here's Red Stegall with the story. The Four Sixes Ranch, with its headquarters in Guthrie, Texas, is as legendary as its founder, Samuel Burke Burnett. Known simply as Burke, Burnett was born in Missouri in 1849, but came to Texas with his family in about 1857. When Burke was 17, his father sent him with a herd of cattle on a trail drive to the markets in Kansas. When he was 19, Burke went up the trail again, this time as the boss. He had gone into the cattle business for himself a little earlier when he bought 100 head of cattle bearing the 4-6 brand. With title to the cattle, he also received ownership of the brand. And that dispels the often repeated story about how Burke, in a poker game, won the 4 Sixes ranch with a hand of 4 Sixes. Burke knew the value of a good horse, and down through the years, the Four Sixes has had some good ones. As Burke built his Four Sixes ranch, he married Ruth Lloyd, daughter of Fort Worth banker M.B. Lloyd, and in honor of his father-in-law, Burke branded all his horses with an L on the left shoulder, and that continues to be the Four Sixes horse brand. Burke and Ruth had three children, but only one, Tom, lived to become an adult. Tom worked for his father for a number of years, but in the early 1900s, he went out on his own and established the Triangle Ranches, one at Iowa Park and the other at Paducah, Texas. Tom and his wife, Olive, had one daughter, Ann Valiant Burnett, who in later years became known throughout ranching circles in the Southwest as Miss Ann. Today, the Four Sixes Ranches are owned by Mrs. Ann Marion, the great-granddaughter of Samuel Burke Burnett. The ranch motto is, horses with a history, brands with a background. When we return, we'll look at the Four Sixes outstanding quarter horses. Stay with us. We want a trust relationship with our customers. We want them to know that we care about them, that our products work, and we'll stand behind them. To come back and purchase, to bid and buy their customers' cattle, they're very, very dedicated to a customer's product, and I think that creates a lot of longevity. 98, that's 63,000, thank you. What's in a name? Superior Livestock Auction. Reputation? Integrity? Creativity?
What's in our name? Superior Livestock Auction. The industry-leading livestock marketing company that focuses on its roots, serving the cattle industry for over 25 years. We grew out of a need and blossomed into a leader. We understand that a name means far more than just some words on a page. It's character and history. It's lifelong endeavors. It's your identity. What's in a name? Superior Livestock Auction. Market your cattle the superior way. Welcome back to the American Rancher. It goes without saying that on this working cattle ranch, when you're checking pastures that cover not just acres, but miles, the cowboys depend on a good horse. Red Stegall shows us some of the best. Dr. Glenn Blodgett is the general manager of the horse division for Four Sixes Ranch. He also is the president of the American Quarter Horse Association the largest equine registry in the entire world. Dr. Glenn, the horses on this ranch for ranch horses have been notorious throughout the ranching industry for generations. Let's talk a little bit about that blood the bloodlines and where they came from, why those horses were so important to the overall horse uh, production on this ranch. Well, as you know, Red, you know, the, the ranch here is, it, it's, it's, it's large, it's big, this big, right in the middle of big ranch country. It's referred to a lot. Uh, you know, we've got rolling, rolling hills. We've got, you know, rough, rocky terrain. The pastures are large. Uh, you know, we, and we can't, we can't gather and handle and work the cattle uh, with, with a four-wheeler like many people do today. You've, yep. got, you've got to have a good solid horse. And of course, Back, back when the ranch was founded, of course, four-wheelers didn't exist. Mm -hmm. You know, had to have a, have a horse then. So naturally, we've just transcended over the years into having these real good cow horses to do all of our work here on the ranch. What are the things, the particular characteristics that you look for in a good ranch horse that you have to decide what merit of breed to what stallion to get those characteristics that the cowboys will like and enjoy riding that horse? Well, you know, we've got to have a horse that's a good sound, uh, good leg and good footed horse. Uh, we've got to have a horse that's got a good back that'll, that'll, you know, hold a saddle good. They've got to have a good set of withers and where they don't have to cut them in two with a girt when they girt them up uh, um, to carry them uh, all day long. I mean, no, nobody likes to be constantly shifting their saddle around. Uh, they want it to. They want to put it in place and and uh, suck it up and, and be there all day. And uh, of course, we like a horse with uh, stamina is extremely important here. I mean, we've got to have a horse that'll carry a man possibly all day. Many yeah. times, many times they'll change it in the middle of the day, but sometimes, sometimes it's not possible. So they've got to have a horse that, that with a that's loaded with stamina, and uh, you know you. You know, everybody likes a, a smooth traveling, smooth moving horse too. You know, he, just like a difference between riding in a smooth riding car or pickup or a, or a rough riding one. You know, mm -hmm. it's, uh, you know, if you're gonna ride one all day, you'd like it to be smooth, so that's important. Speed is important, you know. I mean, it's uh, like, like I've heard many times, uh, the worst thing you wanna have is, is to not have speed. You know, mm -hmm. speed, speed is important in, in doing a lot of things at horseback. Cause, you know, because obviously a horse that's got speed's not going to be a lazy horse either. And, uh, and of course, uh, you know, cow sense is extremely important uh, because we, that's what we use them for a lot. Uh, and uh, to, to sort, gather and sort cattle, uh, move cattle around. I mean, it's just, just really, that's, that's a real important thing. And then, you know, we all like to ride a good looking horse. You know, it's a, that, that, that's, that's just a sense of pride. I'd like for you folks to meet one of my very favorite people. And in my estimation, the perfect image of a cowboy. First of all, he's a gentleman. He's a great horseman. He knows how to handle cattle. He knows how to handle people. He's everybody's friend. 
and uh, I appreciate what he does and really admire his ability. Boots O'Neill, glad you joined us. Thank you, thank you. What makes the horses of the Four Sixes Ranch so special? And they have an international reputation for being really outstanding cow horses. Yeah, uh, and they're good. This is the best broke, big removal of 75 or 100 saddle horses that I've ever seen as far as every one of them is. But they've bred really good horses and they select their mares it go back for generations of this certain mare that she's had good colts and the guys kept them long before they had records like we have now. But these are good, really good horses and they've got, I think that that's bred in them, a, a real cow, a lot of them just, uh, they'll uh, back their ears around a cow when they're just a bronc around there, you know, they'll look at one and you can tell they're noticing that thing, you know. Well, yeah. the four sixes have good cattle, good cowboys, and good horses. I'd agree with that, and they've got, uh, I might add that uh, I think that all starts from the top, yep. and you've got good management and good, uh, uh, from Ms. Ann down through the Rights manager and on down, they send Dr. Blodgett. They all stress, uh, you know, the the value and the good horses and cattle the same way. And they have good men. Thank and I'm so proud you're my friend. Thank you, sir. Dr. Blodgett, uh, coming up on the 9th of October, which is pretty close. Coming right and up. It's the return to the Bermuda sale. Right. The demonstration's the on the night. The sale's on the 10th. It's a real fun event for people to attend. Uh, and uh, we just get a lot of repeat uh, business customers come back year after year. And uh, Is it going to be here at the Sixes? It's going to be here at, at the Four Sixes here at Guthrie. Okay. If you're looking for a good saddle horse, a young broodmare, an older broodmare, or just a good all-around horse, it's the return to the Ramuda sale at the Four Sixes Ranch. Uh, the presentation will be on Friday the 9th and the sale on Saturday the 10th of October. It's said that the Black Angus bloodlines at the Four Sixes Ranch can be traced back more than 140 years. Now that's some kind of heritage. We'll preview the upcoming legacy cattle sale when the American rancher returns. Stay with us. Superior Livestock has taken the guesswork out of bringing select genetics into your cow herd through the Superior Select Replacement Female Auctions. These replacement females are solid and ready to go to work for you. Be sure and register for these upcoming Superior Select Replacement Female Auctions. It's the new cattle drive for the modern day. Market your livestock the superior way. Hey Cowboys, Superior Livestock Auction comes to Stillwater Pistols Firing for a Superior Video Auction broadcast live on SuperiorLivestock.com. October 16th, 9 a.m. from the OSU Alumni Center on the campus of Oklahoma State. Superior will donate $1 per head of cattle sold to support the OSU Animal Science Scholarship Fund. Here's an excellent opportunity to buy and sell load lots and light loads of cattle while taking advantage of Superior's comprehensive network of buyers and sellers across the U.S. To consign your cattle, contact your Superior rep or visit SuperiorLivestock.com. Welcome back to the American Rancher and our special visit to the Four Sixes Ranch. There is a superior cattle breeding program here that dates back more than a century. Here's Red Stegall. Joe, you've been here for quite a few years. So you've seen a lot of changes in the cattle operation on the Four Sixes. Let's talk about some of the early cattle that were here and how all of this has morphed into what it is today. Well, Red, when I came here 17 years ago, um, the ranch was, we had straight Hereford cows. In my opinion, probably some of the best Hereford cows in Texas and, and probably a large part of the United States. Um, we just saw a change in uh, the marketing of the Hereford cattle. Uh, we saw a need to start making a transition. And so after, uh, a hundred years of Hereford cattle, plus or minus, 
Um, we started making a transition to black cattle by using quality Angus bulls on our Hereford cows. Mm -hmm. And um, in, that, in the 17 years I've been here, we've made that transition. And we have straight black cows, a few black baldies left. Um, but uh, we've seen the increase in performance in the feedlots, the quality of the, the meat that's going to the packers and to the customers, into the retail uh, improved dramatically. Uh, the temperament of the cattle are better, uh, largely due to genetics and, and also largely due to the brush control that we've done here. And several years ago you had a tremendous challenge. You had no grass, you had no water, uh, the drought was devastating to all of West Texas. And tell us about the changes you made and how you have protected the genetics of these cattle and protected your numbers. Well, in 2011, we were going into a historic drought here in Texas. I thought that I knew what a drought was uh, until 2011, but uh, we were faced with uh, 100 plus degree heat for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. Uh, our water was uh, fast uh, becoming non-existent. The grass was short and we, we looked, uh, first thing we looked at was the condition of the ranch and um, made the decision that if we didn't do something drastic that we were gonna hurt this land uh, for the future generations of the, that, that's coming up to run the ranch and to live on it. And then we looked at uh, the genetic, the, the money that we had put into genetics over the years. And you know, you can't get those genetics back in a short amount of time. And then the third factor we looked at was we have a lot of uh, second and third generation people that work on this ranch. And uh, the employees here mean a lot to us, mean a lot to Ann. Um, you know, they're like family. And so we looked at all those factors and decided that we needed to, to think outside the box and see what we could come up with to hold our genetics and our numbers together. Uh, gambling that the market would be there in the future. So over a period of time uh, of about a year and a half, we ended up moving over 4,000 cows north. We held our base herd together and, um, and went through the transition with the cows, moving them up north, which was not always uh, easy. But uh, we got it done because of good people and, uh, and hard work. And so we were able to keep our employees together. We were able to keep our numbers of cattle together and keep our numbers up, and um, that's where we are today. Joe, what's the criteria that you use to select the females that you're going to keep for your herd? We go through and we pick the best of the best when they're uh, as heifer calves. And we will go back through and we will select another two or three times. We'll cull on those cattle two or three more times. And then we, we don't give any second chances here. If, if those heifers don't have a calf, well, obviously, if they don't breed, will we get rid of the, the open cows. But then if that heifer doesn't raise a calf uh, and she doesn't have a calf on her side in the spring when we're branding, she's gone. And if that heifer is not uh, bred back, she's gone. And that same criteria happens all the way through uh, to adulthood in that cow. There's no second chances. But if a cow can't raise a calf in the winter and breed back and be in good flesh going into spring, not, not after they've been on green grass for you know, a month or two and really on the, on the mend, but if that cow is not an easy fleshing cow, then, then she's gone because she just does not have what it takes for our, our program. Because we want a cow that not only is confirmationally good, genetically good, but that can get out and make a living. The third criteria is they've got to perform in the feedlot. Uh, we fed our own cattle for years and years, uh, all the way through. And um, so we've got a lot of data on how well our, well our cattle perform. And if we've got a group of cows, it's hard for us to individually keep up with an individual calf, but if our cattle as a whole aren't performing like they need to in a feedlot, we need to adjust on that in the bull battery. But it's also got to happen in the females. But you know for certain that those females 
that you're selling on November the 12th have adapted to conditions, climate, uh, altitude, humidity, everything in Texas, and they're ready to go wherever they need to go. If they haven't shown to this point in their life that they weren't able to adapt, they're not in this sale. It's a historic Four Sixes Legacy female sale, offering 1,800 coming three-year-old bred commercial females. These northern origin females sell bred to Express, Riverbend, Krebs, STS Ranch, and Bradley Three Ranch growth bulls. You know, we've been dealing with Joe and, and the Sixes for about uh, six years now. Uh, our relationship first started when uh, uh, he called me to, uh, to, to partner on some heifers uh, to take out of Texas uh, when the drought was first starting to hit. And, and so we've got a background with their cattle uh, on, a, uh, on a production basis. And we took those cattle in and bred them and, and uh, formed a partnership and sold the cattle. And the cattle went out and worked for the customers. And here's your chance to restock with Superior Genetics on Thursday, November the 12th. Sale starts at 1 p.m. Central. This is a video only sale broadcast live on Superior, clicktobid.com and Rural TV. They've had this thought in mind as they come out of the drought uh, and restock their ranch. Uh, they also want to help Texas restock at the same time. And it's Joe's uh, mission in life to bring a quality product to Texas. And, and not only for himself, but also to offer that to, to the, the general ranching community in Texas. So we cleaned them up, we're going to square them up, sell them in group lots, and give an opportunity to, to rebuild um, in quantity and quality. Rethink, restock, rebuild with the Four Sixes Legacy Female Sale. Unique thing about Four Sixes is when John and Joe come in, they have a plan in place. They know what they're wanting, they know what add values, that adds value to their program, to their calf crop and their offspring, and they stick to it. They come in, they have their homework done, they select different sire lines for different needs and different ranches. We appreciate that. When they come in, they know what they want, they know where they're going, and again, it adds value to their bottom line. Uh, one thing about Joe and the entire crew at the Six is, uh, their word is their bond, their handshake is good. Uh, you know, they're as, as honest and, and, and good and decent people as you're ever going to encounter in this, in this business. And uh, uh, I'd highly encourage everybody to take a look at uh, the cattle because uh, uh, they always treat you fairly. This particular set of cattle that uh, the Joe Leathers uh, compiled like, uh, like he'd probably told you, uh, originate out of South Dakota, Colorado, and Montana. Um, these are some of the finest genetics that he could compile within reason financially, and, uh, um, but they fit the genetic base that fit uh, the four sixes here. And so uh, we took this set of cattle. Uh, they will all be pregged. They will be sorted according to type and kind and weight and then uh, the three calving intervals. Uh, they'll be late February, March, and April calvers. And so the cattle are gonna be cleaned up. I think when people come to, to see the females that are being offered in Nebraska, at Border, Texas, and at Guthrie, Texas, they'll be very, very impressed. I mean, these are, these are ranch cows that are ready to go to work. Um, um, you just, it's kind of a set of females that you need to come see them to really appreciate them. And, and really, then you'll understand what Joe Leathers is trying to do at the four sixes here. We hope you enjoyed our special visit to the four sixes ranch. And Red, thank you for telling the story about this great operation. It was my pleasure, Ben. And we'd like to thank Ann Marion, Dr. Blodgett, Joe Leathers, and the team here at the four sixes ranch for an inside look into this spectacular horse and cattle operation. The return to the Ramuda horse sale will be held here at the ranch October 9th and 10th, featuring outstanding horses from six different ranches. Then you won't want to miss the Legacy Female Cattle Sale November 12th at the Community Event Center right here in Guthrie, Texas. You can find more information online at 6666ranch.com. For more information about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. 
for Red Steagall, I'm Pam Minnick and the entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you right back here next time.